Welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. I'm Andy Barnes, And I'm Ben Friedman. And today on the show, convergence, 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 convergence. Taking multiple devices and squishing them together in, in one thing. Do you like uh, having stuff smushed together like your your camera video camera yes. your phone your radio all that in one handheld device yes because a lot of puritans a lot of uh, you know people who are uh, you know uh, luddites or people who like are scared of technology they like to have everything separate i want this to be my phone i want this to be my camera and this to be my video camera and this to be my coffee maker do not want my coffee maker in my phone well if you could figure it out and where it doesn't stress you out which usually all of this stuff stress tr stresses me out but since I have you on my bat phone, I can uh, fix it all and I'm good. There you go. So um, <laughs> I, some things seem to fit together well. And some things you think, why did they put that together? Right. So let's figure out whether this is one of those. This is um, by a company called Keyscan. It's kind of a neat idea. It's a full-size keyboard for a desktop computer. Here mm -hmm. it is, beautiful keyboard. And uh, it has built into it, it's USB keyboard right there. It has two things built into it. First of all, it's a USB hub. So if you want to plug in a hard drive or a mouse or uh, another printer or something like that into your computer, you have an extra two ports back here that you can connect to. Right. I know you hate reaching behind the computer to plug it. Oh, I mean, in. I have to pull it back and get in behind it and yeah. Right, so I imagine you like this feature. I love that feature. Right, because now you can just plug your hard drive in. Exactly. It's accessible, and that's easy. Accessibility is key. Yes. Now, the other thing, the bigger feature of this, is that it's got a built-in scanner right here. So when you want to scan receipts or photos or anything into your computer, rather than having to go to a scanner, you've got your scanner right here in the keyboard. Right. I really like this, especially with Facebook, and you want to... You know, get all, all your old pictures from growing up and put them in there and put them it's, it's on. It's perfect for Facebook. It's or, perfect. Yeah. yeah, you just quick scan and boom. Exactly. Now, what I think would be even better is if this was a printer. That. A printer and a fax? Oh, excuse me, and a scanner or just a printer? Uh, I mean, I could do without the scanner. It's not a big deal for me. Right. But right. if this was a printer, that would make my life a lot easier. See, and I'm, I'm kind of there with you. I like having this scanner, but it misses some scanner features. For instance, you can't scan books. You right. can't scan four or five pages at once. There's no you know, tray here to put like uh, an automatic feeder in. You can't make copies. Which well, a scanner probably does, right? If a scanner is also a printer, like right. one of those all-in-ones, right. right? You have a copy button. Now, if you have a printer hooked up to this, you could scan something in and then print it. Right. But it's not as easy as the one button thing. Right. Um, it was a little tricky for me to figure out, but yeah, once, meaning that she called me. Right. Which means once you walked me through it, I could get it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know if you guys think the same thing, but like you can look at directions and make sense of it. To me, it's just blah 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 blah. But. The other thing was uh, these buttons didn't work for me. It shows what they are, but one was volume, one was mute. Right. It didn't uh, it, it's, do it, what it, it said. It had a bit of a conflict we, we discovered with your uh, computer's on-screen displays. Right. So you're used to having buttons that turn your volume up and down, and these scanner buttons ended up doing that. Right. Probably could have fixed that. Right. Had we had time and patience. patience. <laughs> Let's show everyone how this works. So here is a, a piece of paper with some stuff printed on it. And you basically uh, insert it in here like so. And blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to slide this back a little bit here so you can see a little more. Now, normally you'd be able to just push one of these buttons and get it to, um, to scan. Right. But we had this problem with it conflicting with a button. So I'm going to actually go to the computer and click the scan button here. And you can see, here it is, delightfully scanning That's through. That's a great and invention. At first, I didn't know where it was going to come out. Like, does it come out the back, or does it come out the side, or where does it come out? But it actually right. comes out... Right there! Right there! It comes out the front. <laughs> There's a little lip here so that it's not sitting right on the floor. Right. Uh, this would also be a problem if you happen to have a uh, non-hard surface. Like, if you happen... I don't know why anyone would do this, but if you had, like carpeted surface or uh -huh. something that was bumpy, I think this paper might get caught on it. Right. But everyone has a desk, right? You have this, so you can't use this on your lap. Right. You can't take this and sit it on your lap and type on your lap. I mean, I mainly use my laptop. Right. You know, I, because I, it's accessible yeah. anywhere in my house. In fact, so. we've got this hooked up to a laptop now for the purposes of the show. Exactly. So, you know, I probably wouldn't use it 
because I'm always on my laptop. Right, but you have desktop. Right, but there's right. many people that do have their desks, and Smart. I think it's pretty neat. So I think this kind of works as a casual scanner. It's mm -hmm. kind of nice having something that is um, built in. It has that hub built in. I know mm -hmm. that's you know a, a big thing for people who don't want you know you can plug other devices in here as well. Right, I like uh, it. Yeah, I like it too. Do I think it's perfect? No. How much is it? I don't know How if I much ever is asked. It? Well, it's 140 bucks, and I got to tell you, that is more expensive than buying a keyboard and an all-in-one printer, scanner, copy, or fax. You know, you can get one of those all-in-ones for about 50, 60, 70 bucks now for a reasonable one, and you could buy a keyboard like this for 10 or 20 bucks. Right. So for probably 100 bucks, you could get two separate devices. Right. I think it'll just depend on what you have in your office and what you need more of. And I think if they could get this down to 69, 79 bucks. You'd see some good value there. All right. But it works. That's, I guess, the most important. Well, we think well, it'll really work if we would have yeah. been more patient if we, with that. If we, if we got the buttons working, that'd be even more convenient. But even without the buttons working, it does work. Right. Right. We so agree on that. That is the key scan keyboard and scanner. I wonder how they came up with that name. I don't know. And USB hub. Which, uh, which is helpful out there as well. So pretty cool products. If uh, those are things you do a lot and you want a really quick way to scan stuff in. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> That's a pretty mediocre sort of uh, <laughs> solution. Or answer. I think 140 is a bit pricey. I do it for convenience. There you go. So if you uh, have an extra 30 seconds, we've got another segment coming up right after this. So please stay tuned. Back and in the second spotlight today, we are looking at this beautiful device, which is the uh, Simple Human uh, Automatic Soap Dispenser for your kitchen. And uh, basically, um, it's a fairly simple device. It's uh, you put soap here in the top, fill up with soap. It's got a nice wide thingy for you to put soap in. You mm -hmm. put four AA batteries in the bottom, and then Andy, if you would stick your hand under and do the uh, do the uh, out comes a bunch of soap. Hold it up to the face. Right. I can give you my review right now. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, it's good. Every time you stick your hand under, it's no. going to give you more soap. Wow. What? You okay. knew exactly what that was going to do. Of course, it's a simple human soap pump. Right, but that's a lot of soap. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, Andy, because a great <laughs> feature about this is you can change the amount that comes out. Just dump that on the table there for a second. So I'm going to push this little button, and you'll notice there's a little flashing light. I don't know if you can see it on top there. See if that is more to your liking. <laughs> Better? Yeah. Okay. That put Still out a all... little much. Okay, you can take your hand away now. So that is a, a little less. That's a little much. That's the smallest setting. Okay. Okay. But now if I... If I, I guess I... it depends on how concentrated the soap is. Uh, that's true. That's three. Let's see if I can get it to the... Uh... This is the most setting. What, more than what I did already? Oh my goodness, what do they want you to wash with that? Your dog? I don't know, that's a lot of soap. Actually, yeah. that would be a good idea, huh? What, wash your dog? You could just if hold this it was, over your dog. If this was Maybe a, that's dog mode. Really, if you could put, oh my gosh, you could put shampoo in that for your dog. That's what I would use that for. So Sorry. that is, that's, that's too much. Yeah. That's a lot. Hmm. It's just soap. I know, but... Nothing, it's a bit goopy, but... It, yeah, uh, yeah. Ugh. So you can change it. Now, okay. what did you like? Uh, let me go back to the first one again. Okay. And there's uh, four different settings. So if you want, you can just do that one. Yeah. Is I'll it, tell you exactly why I like this. Okay. Um, when you're cooking dinner and you're using, getting the chicken and stuff, and you have, you got chicken on your hands, yeah. and you don't want to go touch the thing to wash the chicken off your hands, right. this is perfect. You're still going to touch the tap, though. Unless you, I, I mean, I got to tell you. But if I start, if I get all the stuff off and then use my arm to lift the water. Why can't you use your arm to pump the soap? That's See, a little tricky my problem to is, pump. Is, how much like a public restroom do you really want your kitchen to be? Okay. Public restrooms do this. What's next? A, a blower in the corner where you dry your hands? I mean, I do not want my kitchen turning into a public restroom. You get weird like this. Like, there, I don't know. There was something else where you just sort of went off on your tangent. No, don't you understand? This is like a men's room now. 
This is, no, what, this, this is what happens at men's rooms. You you know, you go in there and you... This it, is convenience is what it is. I mean... It, it, I love this idea. Really? Yeah. I, and especially because I can tell you how many times I've had egg on my hand and chicken on my hands. Right. And I don't want to touch stuff. Right. Because I have all that stuff on my hands. So I feel better putting this under there, washing my hands. And even if I had to touch stuff... And you know what's going to happen is you'll run out of batteries and you'll be in the midst of cooking and you'll go, er, nothing. Nothing. And can you pump manually? No, no manual pump. Well, I think the trick is we have, this is fresh with batteries. Let's see how long it lasts. Well, it is fresh with batteries and we don't especially on this, uh, you know, if you get it on this uh, setting with the, uh, let's see if I can get it back to the uh, four setting here where you're putting, you know. I mean, that's ridiculous. You're putting out all this. <laughs> that soap. is I'm just wanting to know who's going to clean up this mess because this well, is going to be easy to clean It's going to be up. clean. I mean, it's going to be one clean table. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. Personally, myself, I'd rather have a Wait, wait. How much is it? Uh, I'll tell you right now. 40 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. No. Okay. This is what you give someone that has everything. They'd love it. So you want one of these. You like this. Yes. You want to have this in the kitchen. <laughs> Personally. My kids would love this. Oh, you know your kids would love it. They'd be... <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. So all over the place. And the other thing is, is... If you want to change how much soap comes out, you can't do that without touching it. Well, yeah, you do it before. Can you put lotion in it? You could probably put anything in it. I don't know. I may. You, I don't know. It's got to be a certain thickness, right? right. You don't want to jam up the pump. Right. But you can probably put <laughs> lotion in, in it as well. All right. So there you go. Uh, Annie loves it. Me, not so much. Uh, to me, it just brings the men's room experience home. Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Not, not where <laughs> not I want Not a good that. visual. So that's the simple human automatic uh, sensor soap pump that uh, you can get for 40 bucks. There you go. What do you think? Do you think, is this too much uh, men's room in the in the, the bathroom in, in there or is this a cool device that would help you to clean up? Be more clean. Indeed. Let us know, www.neo-fight.tv. It would make my kids wash their hands a lot more, I'll tell you that. Well, until the novelty wore off, you know, like in a minute. That's true. And uh, Sorry, take a look at this. Leave us, <laughs> leave us a comment there and if you happen to have an extra 30 seconds, Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Take a look, Take at, a look at this. Are you still lighting your videos the old-fashioned way? Heavy, fragile lighting fixtures? Hot lights that make your talent sweat? Gels and filters to match your colors? Time to take a look at the Xylite LED lighting system, the future of lighting today. Small, compact, and durable LED lights with high wattage output cool LED technology won't overheat your talent. And multicolor presets let you instantly choose from daylight, tungsten, or custom colored illumination, fully dimmable at the touch of a button. And each Psylite comes with wireless networking built in for easy remote control. For more information, visit Xylite today at www.xylite.com.